YouTube. What's up, Jason Ritchie? And today, on another free Friday, it's gonna be a great day. And today, we're gonna have a short lesson. This is part one of the updated lessons on Glissandos. One of my Patreon patrons, Patreon patrons, thank you so much. You're saving the moon cats, but every single month keeping me alive, keeping these lessons a priority, even on my week off. This is my week off. I'm enjoying myself. But Julia Dill wrote me and said, Jay, what are these glissandos? How do I learn them? And I, and I went, oh, well, let me send you a video. I went into my catalog of videos and I found this old outdated video that was just not going to do it. So today we're going to start with part one of glissandos. What, what is, is a glissando? Well, it's a fancy Italian word for a two note decoration. Now it can be more than two notes or it can be just two, but it's got to be at least two. So let's start with a couple of things that we you know, most commonly hear about glissandos, like what they are, or what are some things people refer to as glissandos. You've already heard them. So like when people slide up to an oak. So I'm just sliding up to six blow. And then sliding up to five. So the lick I'm trying to play is but instead of doing that, I'm just gonna slide up to it. I don't have to really pay attention to what notes I'm using. I could blow all the way up to six, and then draw all the way up to five, and then blow up to five blow, and then draw to four. Or I could draw up to all of them. It's just a little decoration. It's really not important what the notes are, especially because I'm using open tuned instrument, which is a C diatonic harmonica. Right now I'm playing it in the key of G. But the glissandos that I'm gonna be teaching you are not really this sliding fancy thing. As a matter of fact, I think that kind of playing, and it's just my opinion, it doesn't matter, you might love it. But I think sliding up into everything can be a bad habit and can get a little distracting. It's kind of like when you hear somebody sliding on the strings on a guitar. Shh, shh. At first you think it's great, but then if they do it too much, after a while you don't even hear the notes anymore. All you hear is the sliding. So, you know, everything in moderation, as they say, I've never been very good at that myself. But anyway, today we're going to be talking about just a simple glissando, a two-note decoration. So let's just start with the first place that I can do it on the harmonica. So that would be on the one blow, right? But I can't start on the one blow because I want to go down. So I'm gonna start on two blow, go down to one blow, go up to two blow, and then down to one blow again. Now the temptation is to try to over decorate that. Here it is slow. The temptation is to like and try to do it too many times. Just start slow and then speed it up. I can just move this all the way up the harmonica on the blow notes. So I'm starting on th two blow, going down to one blow, two blow, one blow. If I move up to three blow and go down to two blow, three blow, two blow, I can do the same thing. And then the same on four. Just like that. Now I can do exactly the same thing on the draws. So now I'm going to go down to two draw, down to one draw, back up to two draw, and then back down to one draw. Together. Speed it up a little. Ha! 
How do I use that? Right? Well, first of all, I can do it on all the draws. So I just moved it up to three, two, three, two, all inhale. Now I'm gonna go up to four. It's, it's pretty hard to keep track of where you are. <laughs> it's a little off, let me do it again. Much better. What do I do with that, right? Well, you just start trying to put it into your licks. So say your lick is from my video, One Easy Lick, Endless Possibilities, right? But I didn't write that lick. It's as old as the hills, but it's a good one. So you take something that's old as the hills and you put a little of you on it and you do it with one of these beautiful decorative glissandos. So I could just go like, So here's the, here's the glissando again. So I just go. Or I can put it at the beginning. There's it at the end. go on all day, right? That's just with that one. But I could put it anywhere. I could use the one on the bottom. Anywhere. A great way to start is to take a song that you know really well. So I'll just pick one off the top of my head. Let's do Amazing Grace. I'm just going to decorate it with some of the glisses that we learned today. So I'm starting on a higher note, going down low, going up to the high one, and then going down. So here's the song. There's a nice slow one. Right. So that's me sliding up and then down. That's a gliss too. Right? It's just a part of one. So let's start again. Ready? <laughs> Sort of start decorating existing licks. A scale, right? An arpeggio. Here's the arpeggio. First four holes draw ready. So I'm just glissing around the arpeggio. Next week we're gonna learn more glisses, like three note glisses. and four and five note glisses and where to put them. But right now we're just gonna start with these, right? These little two note glisses just to get us going. And I can put them in a, in a scale. Now some scales are gonna work better for the harmonica, right? Because you won't have to pick and choose notes. The Mixolydian mode is great. Or in first position, the, the major scale or the Dorian mode, anything where you can use every note on the harp.
so I'm just kind of playing in a C major scale, right? But I'm right now I'm kind of you can hear I'm focusing more on G, right? But like, you know, let me go over here to Quist, right? I know all these licks will work, right? It says bluesy groove jam track G major, right? So I'm just gonna play over G major, and I'm just gonna gliss my tail off, like way too much glissing, like way like like tasteless glissing. All droglists is the same ones we learned. right but that's just an idea of how to get started with two note glisses i'll see you next friday with the rest right we're just getting started there you go those of you that want to do a little extra that already got this just add one note any note blow at the end. That's the first part. And just landing on six blow. Sounds fancier than it is. Let me slow it down for you. Right there. And I can put in any note on the end, you know, over this song especially. subscribe button and stay tuned for the credits thank you everybody for tuning in to free fridays right here on youtube subscribe today click the subscribe button for hundreds of free harmonica lessons if you like what i'm putting down and you'd like to support the cause go the extra mile be sure to visit my patreon page patreon patrons thank you very much you're making these lessons an absolute priority in my life, no matter how busy I get. A free lesson happens every Friday. For as low as a dollar a month, that's 25 cents a lesson, you can become a Patreon patron. If you're doing a little better and you can donate more, that's great. Every time you become a Patreon patron, you're helping somebody else out there that doesn't have a credit card, that doesn't have a dollar a month. To continue to get free harmonica instruction and much much more remember we got product reviews here on this channel we do videos on addiction and bipolar disorder we got blues stories we got performance videos and everything right here on jason rich's youtube subscribe today i'd like to thank honer harmonicas and i'd like to thank blue moon harmonicas making custom parts for any harmonica that you might have at home blue moon has got you the lone wolf blues company 
pedals, amplifiers, microphones, you name it, much more. Right here out of Louisiana, the Lone Wolf Blues Company is bringing you the best in customer service for almost any kind of amplified blues harmonica needs that you may have. Speaking of amplifiers, Harp Gear amplifiers. Check them out. The very best Harp Gear right out of Ocala, Florida. I got a website, www.mooncat.org. Check me out on mooncat.org. I got tour dates happening all over the place. I'm going all over the country this year, playing tour dates with J.J. Appleton, with Damon Fowler, with J.P. Soares, with my own band, with Joe Crown, all kinds of people. www.mooncat.org. T-shirts, lesson information, all of that. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. We do this every single Friday, and then every now and then I throw you some more stuff right here at Jason Rich's YouTube. A Mooncat, love and appreciate all y'all. Thank you.